Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Floor and Greenhouses and today the topic is this plastic or what we call poly and it's a it's a special plastic for greenhouses and a lot of you have asked us you know how do we cover our greenhouses or what, what is that like is it you know is there multiple layers and I just want to say just take a little bit of time and talk about that so so the poly that covers the greenhouses is a special plastic and it um, because it's such a harsh environment and it has all the the sun rays coming through it it has to be a uv protectant and it's actually it's um, because otherwise it, it'll break down and we do have to replace all the plastic on all the greenhouses every four years so every four years we have this great big job and uh, we have to cover the greenhouses and it's it's a job that i really do not like so we we actually now we hire it out because a crew comes in and it's just boom they you know this is what they do all day long and uh, it's just a lot easier to have them do it so so we have to replace it every four years so it's a big cost for us and um but it's it's a specially coated plastic poly and there's a special coating on the inside layer there's two layers and there's a special like reflective uh layer and when those the sunlight the rays come through they kind of bounce around in here and it traps in that sunlight so even on a uh, a lighter cloudier day that sunlight is is actually brighter in here than it is outside because it gets kind of trapped in like a mirror so it's it's kind of deceiving you don't even realize that it's it's actually brighter in here than when you go outside but in in the in the summer it's you know it really captures that sunlight because we, we're in a greenhouse we want lots of sunlight and there's two layers of poly and so there's the inside layer that has that mirror uh, reflection and reflects in the lights and then there's a top layer and in between is air and one of the maintenance things I have to do is we have these squirrel cage fans and um, these go out so I always have one or two on hand and and you kind of know when they they start going that bearing starts going ee, and you hear it on like oh I got to get that I got to get that fan replaced like now um, because when they go out um, that poly um, it, it can flap around that's one of the most dangerous things is in in a storm you don't want to lose power because um, that plastic will be flapping around and in a in a real bad storm with high winds that plastic will tear right off and all your plants are exposed you know, right now it's maybe 20 degrees outside. How fast do you think my plants would die? Like that. So it's, it's you have minutes, you know, to get to get everything uh, uh, back up and running and situated. Or if you have a, a, a loss of power, you want you want to make sure that uh, the generator is running and keeping these these fans going to keep that poly um, nice and taut, especially in a storm. Um, so that's that's a job that's it's a con constant maintenance and you can see there's a uh, there's a fan right up in the corner here and that pumps air in between the two layers and you can see I've got some duct tape over it I know it's a little bit hillbilly but there, there's this fine line of you can only have so much air flowing in because you want to keep that that plastic you know maybe about like this if it that fan is pumping too hard it'll really really pop it out like like this and it just gets too taunt so we have to kind of throttle that down a little bit so that's the plastic and it's it's one of those things that you got to go through and and uh, sometimes there's holes you know one one year I noticed that my daughter was out in the greenhouses in the winter she decided to do archery practice with her bow and arrow and guess where her arrow went right up and through and then she didn't tell me so it's like oh boy the the plastic just isn't as taunt as it should be well there's look at that there's an arrow up in in the plastic so <clears throat> but it, it does happen there's there you there gets to be holes in and I don't even know how it how some of these holes get in here but I'm constantly climbing them up on a ladder and using some duct tape I noticed the other day I had a few little holes over there I was uh, inspecting the furnaces and I looked up and I noticed oh there's there's two tears <laughs> I don't know how it happened uh, but I had to fix them so just one of those things that's not daily but yeah uh, weekly monthly I got to check the plastic and make sure that it's nice and taunt and that it's that it it holds out for when it counts when we're growing all of our flowers and it's cold outside we have to make sure that we have power 
that our plastic is in good condition and that every four years we have to change it out so that uh, we don't get into a situation where you get a bad, bad winter storm and that plastic can just rip right off uh, in a storm. Because it's, it's, it's happened to my family, it happened to my dad. Uh, so that's, that's one of those things, you know, back in the day it, it happened and there's absolutely nothing you can do. You know, you, all, all your plants are exposed to 10 degrees outside and your crop is done. You know, there's just nothing you can do. So it's, it's one of those maintenance things that we, that we work on and, and make sure that everything is intact and working well. So, hope you enjoyed just taking a little peek behind the scenes and uh, uh, what we do uh, uh, as far as our maintenance and, and getting our plastic uh, ship shape and ready for our season. Have a good day. Bye-bye.